Hey y'all, I sometimes feel like chimichurri is sort of my secret weapon to take what may seem like a simple meal and make it fancier. It's the best way to impress guests and make it seem like you spent forever cooking and are super talented in the kitchen. And if you keep a batch on hand, it's also an easy way to add flavor to leftovers. Okay, let's cook. If you didn't roast the sweet potatoes on prep day, which of course we always recommend you do, start by heating the oven to 425 and piercing the sweet potatoes all over with a fork. Wrap the sweet potatoes in foil, then place the foil wrapped sweet potatoes in the oven and roast for 40 minutes. When the sweet potatoes are about 10 minutes from being done, start on the rest of the dish. If you did roast the sweet potatoes on prep day, good for you. Begin by taking the sweet potatoes out of the fridge, heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Once the oven is to heat, place the sweet potatoes on the foil lined baking sheet and heat for 15 minutes. If the sweet potatoes are not fully heated through, place them back in the oven for three to five minute intervals until heated. Alternatively, as we've talked about before, you can also heat the sweet potatoes in the microwave by cutting them in half and draping them with a damp paper towel if you so choose. While the sweet potatoes are heating up, heat a little oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Add the shrimp with a little salt and pepper to the pan and cook for three to five minutes and then flip over. Cook for another three to five minutes or until pink and fully cooked through. Once cooked, turn the heat off. When the sweet potatoes are heated up and the shrimps are cooked, cooked, scoop out the flesh of one sweet potato and place it on a plate with a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Optionally, you can mix in a little butter with the sweet potato. Top the sweet potato with half the shrimp and drizzle with chimichurri. Dig in.